Salisbury from Neptune. Final bout of the evening in heavyweights. We have Kevin Gall from Manalapan. His record last year was 22 and six. Uh, he was second in the districts. He's defeated Murphy uh, two times last year, I believe. Murphy uh, from Jackson Township is a two-time All-Shore football player, was third in the district and third in the Hall Classic. Quite a difference in weight here. Murphy weighs somewhere around 250, 265. I think the paper listed him as in the Shore Conference. trying to feel each other out. Most of the heavyweights do that. They try to establish a little bit of dominance, see who's stronger in the first period. Really not a lot of action. Again, as you get in the upper weights, the action kind of slows down a little bit. See a lot more muscling up here. Gall obviously being outweighed is not gonna do anything foolish like trying to shoot under him. If he does, he's going to shoot to the side where, he, where he, uh, Murphy can't use his weight by sprawling out on him. Try to get a leg off the mat. Maybe counter something that Murphy does. And Murphy being as big as he is, I don't expect to see him shooting it underneath either. making an honest attempt at a takedown. Twenty seconds left in the first period, still no score. One of the officials ought to warn them. They're both pretty, really stalling here. I don't think Murphy's made an honest attempt at a takedown the whole first period. This is one of the things that the officials have done in the past few years is try to force the action a little bit, and they are getting a little tougher on stalling. As a matter of fact, in college wrestling, if there's no takedown after the first period, the official has to warn one or both wrestlers. Gall's going on the bottom of the second period, and he's going to have to move pretty quick to try to get Murphy's weight up off of top of him. Murphy uses weight real well. Likes to keep the pressure on him. Trying to pick up an ankle. Break him down where he can use all his weight on top. Two points reversal for goal. Score 2 0. Goal using his speed and his agility to kind of counteract Murphy's weight there. To get into the finals, uh, Joe, Tim, Tim Murphy wrestled uh, Kern from Wall. And Kern, I think, was about 180, 190 pounds and just didn't have, just couldn't put up with the weight. It was just too much of a weight difference. The Kern barely makes the minimum weight for a heavyweight. And Glenn just pointed out to me, Tim Murphy, according to his coach, is 270. Gaul, He's giving away close to 100 pounds in that bout. Goal looks a little bit bigger than, than 210, but... Uh, Goal's, again, very Andrew strong. tells me that's, that's what he weighs. Goal's very strong, and he does a nice job. He moves well and doesn't do foolish things. He wrestled heavyweight last year, and that's 
one of the common mistakes that beginning heavyweights make is shooting under big men. Yeah, I don't think you'll see Kevin do that type of thing. Kevin's in command right now. He's got to be careful with throwing that half while Murphy's on his knees. As much weight as he has, chopped down on the arm, he's liable to get rolled. Gold came in as the number one seed in this tournament, and Murphy was the number two seed. In the last bout, Lazarou was also, uh, Lazarou and Fry were number one and two also. So again, uh, a credit to the seeding that these coaches have done and the time they, they put into it. It's like a ballet out there, Joe. <laughs> Dancing hippos. Critical mistake. Got high on him and got and rolled. We talked about it before. I think he's dead. pounds on top of him. That's it. Time ran out. Ball lucked out there. Ball lucked out there. He was pretty close to being flat. Again, made a critical error, getting high, shooting a half Nelson when he's on his knees, got rolled. He had a whizzer and stepped right over, right over the top, too. Just what we were talking about before. The score is 4-2. Murphy's leading third period. Okay, Kevin's got to score some points now. He's got to try to put him to his back. I think uh, Jackson coach uh, Pepe was looking for a pin there, Joe. Well, another couple of seconds, I think he'd have had it. Again, trying to stand up roll. Got himself in trouble. He's on his back. I think he's gonna deck him. He's got him. He's gotta watch his weight so he doesn't get rolled. Very careful, just hang in there, nice and slow. Nice and slow. Very close, both refs are looking at it. He's got it, pinned him. Kevin Gall pinned him. A matter of a couple seconds there, Joe. That's it. Could've been the other way around. That's right, amazing. The heavyweight champ for the Neptune Classic 1981 is Manalapin's Kevin Gall. Okay, we'll be back in a few minutes to tie up the, wrap up the tournament and uh, announcement of most outstanding wrestler and the team champions.